Well, good morning, creatures. Tim Kreitz here. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Tim Kreitz Adventures. I'm right now waiting for Britt and Bobby to show up so we can take today's ride, which I can almost guarantee you will be something you have never seen before in your life. We're going to be riding out to an area called Imperial in northern Pecos County, Texas, where right now is going on what can only really be described as an active geological occurrence. These old, old oil wells out there that originally were drilled around the era of World War II as test wells, they accidentally tapped into a water aquifer when they were drilling those wells. Back then, oil technology and drilling technology wasn't what it was today. And every so often, as the amount of water in the aquifer increases, it pushes water to the surface and creates lakes. It's a pretty amazing thing to behold. I actually went out there last night to check out one of the lakes and got some pretty impressive footage and had a pretty interesting time and I think you will too as we ride back out today to look for that lake and some other lakes in the area. Then we'll tool around West Texas out there, uh, see if we can find some lunch and just uh, engage in our normal buffoonery. So stick around and enjoy. hydrologist who is kind of in charge of studying these wells and he's the one who turned me on to them told me where they were how to find them all that kind of stuff and there's actually some environmental concerns surrounding them namely the fact that they have the capability to create sinkholes and if you know anything about sinkholes you know that they're not a good thing and one of the lakes that has been created by these wells out here technically is a sinkhole in its own right. So scientists are looking at these wells very closely. In fact, the entire area has been marked off as a research area. And uh, it's surprising how few people actually know about them. I didn't know about them. And I pride myself on how much I know about them trivia concerning West Texas. We're almost there. I know this is it because I can smell methane and there's tons of methane coming up with all this water. This is it. This is one of them. smell that methane this one's producing like a thousand gallons an hour Gil told me a thousand gallons of water yeah Is methane flammable? I guess you guys will find out.
You're destroying the ruins. <laughs> well, we didn't find any more wells, but Oven. look at these great treasures. There you go. Time for tea, Bob. <laughs> Yeah, if we don't go through Grand Falls and up to Monahans, we'll be stuck at Crane eating at the Dairy Queen again. <laughs> and we'd order <laughs> Alright, so Grand Falls, Grand Falls Cemetery, and then on into Monahans? Yeah. Alright. Works for me. If you want me to. Grand Falls Cemetery is actually between here and Grand Falls, so we'll hit it first. Yeah, you lead. tires off. Uh oh, the road is closed, the bridge is out. What do you think? It says the bridge is out at the river. You want to go out there and see if the bridge is truly out? Just go up there, just make, just make sure we can turn around. <laughs> the bridge is out. I, think it's, I don't think we're going to cross here. I don't think we are. All right, so you know what that means? That means now, since we can't get to Grand Falls and Monahans on this road, we have to go back to Crane, and you know that that means lunch is going to be where? God dang it, dude. What? 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 Dairy Queen! <laughs> it's our destiny to have lunch at Dairy Queen. Nice, delicious chicken fingers. And Britt got his order. Once again, sh shoving those dudes down his throat. <laughs> and once again, nothing for Timber. And I didn't order last. Dairy Queen!